We head to hops here. Hops is an herb that has hormonal effects. You all know that when women were um, in the old-fashioned days before industrialization completely ruined the planet, we had women who were harvesting hops across the fields of Europe. And as the women went through the countryside harvesting hops, the more you absorb through your skin, the more the women would all menstruate in cycle. It's a very strong hormonal normalizer or stimulant because it also improves fertility. There'd also be a lot of uh, uh, post-hops harvest babies. <laughs> and hops is very bitter. One other interesting thing about hops, I mentioned that it reduces excess acidity even though it's a digestive bitter. It smells bad when it's old, doesn't it? How many people here have smelled an old, rank bag of hops? It makes valerian look like a bouquet. <laughs> Truly, it's really penetrating and really nasty. Sometimes when I hear from patients that they've got old, entrenched trauma, their anxiety and irritability is old in nature, that's sometimes a good place to use a little bit of hops. Old hops? No, not <laughs> old hops. Smarty pants. <laughs> Skull cap I want to mention, and then I'll get back to passion flower. Is this helping your question, sir, so far? OK, okay so skull cap. I really learned this from Ed Smith at Herb Farm, but it's my experience, too is that skullcap is great in the moment for a hot temper. And this is in your notes somewhere. But in Europe, we use it in PMS formula. PMS formulas all across Europe have skullcap, skullcap, skullcap. Because when you have that hormonal flush of irritability and anxiety that's characterized with some kinds of PMS, which we'll talk about tomorrow morning, the, the idea is not that you want some long-term adaptogen to help you. You want to not break the dish over your kid's head now. <laughs> or whatever the scenario might be. So skullcap is quick at helping us to redirect uh, anger, not suppress it, but redirect it. So that instead of inappropriately blurting out with our anger and rage, we have a chance with this bitter, this cooling bitter, to <laughs> get it, and then articulate more clearly what's not working for us and what we would need instead. So we're not suppressing, but you're grounding rage. That's skullcap. That's why it's in PMS formulas. <laughs> Passion flower I'll finish with, and then I'll get on to uh, building formulas. How many people here have grown passionflower in their gardens? How many people here at least know what a picture of the flower looks like? Is that a fairly simple five-petaled rose flower, or is that a very complicated plant? A lot of different moving pieces, right? Passion flower is a crazy flower that to me says when there is a complex whirl within a whirl, and there's something else happening on the outside, and there are sparks shooting out, and it looks like it's absolutely from some other place entirely. When the nerve picture of the patient before you is a little complicated to get your head around, passion flower comes to my mind. The old-fashioned Western description of the indications are that it's for spiritual and physical torment you know that it's named not for passion flower of, of, uh, you know, of going out dancing crazily on tabletops. This is the passion of Christ. It's named for the passion of Christ. The passion of this bitter cup, oh, Father, why me? That angst that each person at some point in their journey might come across. Passion flower helps when you are physically in pain, but you're not just dealing with the physical pain. I had a motorcycle accident, and I'm really glad I didn't die, and oh, I'm doing fine now. No, this is physical pain, which is also, oh, and why did my girlfriend die? This is torment. This is, oh, this is complex. This is guilt-ridden. This is why me. This is, 
messy, hard to get around. Passion flower isn't really that good for normal day-to-day -day irritability and road rage and tension and arguments in the kitchen. This is really a very strong nerving when it comes to that particular triad of mental, spiritual, and physical. That's the old-fashioned Western way of describing it. They might not have mentioned the motorcycle, but... <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying?